creativity. I wanted to share with you my thoughts on creativity and why everybody has it and uses on their daily basis. Some people are just better than others at using creativity, but we all have it. Let's start off by changing the description. I would describe as the ability to solve problems in different ways. And the better you are at coming up with different solutions to the problems, the more creative you are. Let's take Steven here for example. He wants to make a shark film, but the electronic shark that they have keeps breaking up every take. So the problem is, how do you make a shark movie without a shark? The answer is you keep it vague. You focus on point of view. You focus on people's reaction and you use music. Steven made one of the most successful films in the 70s because he found creative ways to solve his problems. So we establish what creativity is. Now let's talk about why you need it and why you should be focusing on it. When you allow yourself to be creative and to find new ways of solving problems, you open yourself to a whole new way of living. Suddenly, you're not just replacing things or leaving things for later. Creativity is not only for the creative work. It can be used on a day-to-day -day basis to solve small problems in life. This photo is hanging with Velcro. Spray paint doesn't damage the AirPods, but helps me identify which one is mine. I wanted to do painting with a spatula, but I found that this Japanese knife works just fine. Anything that you find an alternative way to do it, it is a creative way. Even if you sing with someone else, even if you read in a book or saw in a YouTube video, you adapting this to your life is you taking your own spin into this thing. And the better you are at it, the easier you go about life. And yes, it helps a bunch when it comes to work, any work. Being able to be creative and quickly find solutions to problems on the spot will always gives you a head start. But now, how to be creative. One plus one equals three. You draw two lines next to each other, and now you have three. The first, the second, and the negative line between them. That's the creativity. But to truly understand this basic principle, we need to move on to the next stage. Nothing is original, so copying is okay. The only rule is that you need to avoid copying everything from a single source. If you want to make a pizza and your favorite pizza is a Domino's, and every time you try to make a pizza, you make it just like Domino's, well, you're making a Domino's pizza. Now, if you take the pepperoni from Domino's and the cheese from Pizza Hut, the sauce from Papa John's and the dough from Franco Manca, well, now this is your pizza. The goes to have so many references that every reference becomes a small percentage of the pizza you're making. Creativity is all about how you interact with the world. Everything you consume divided by what you create. And creativity can be improved on by broadening what you consume and limiting your tools so that when you face any problems, large or small, you can rely on your creativity to get through it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is very helpful for you. Uh, a lot of these ideas comes from a book called Still Like an Artist that I will totally recommend if you are into being creative and want to explore more of that world. If you have a different interpretation of what being creative is, please leave it down in the comments. Love to read them. Subscribe if you like to and hit the like button. I said, that's all I have for you today. Goodbye.